So, Microsoft pulled a fast one on us. Yesterday I recorded this video talking about the changes to the AZ-204 Developing Solutions for Microsoft Azure Beta Exam. And what do you know, I wake up this morning on Tuesday and they remove the word beta from the exam. So just like that, the exam has gone live. Now the most of this video is still valid in terms of the changes to the exam that what we're seeing. The only assumption that's different is that this exam is live. If you took the exam today, you would get your results instantaneously. And so this is a little bit different than what they were um, doing in the previous beta, but basically you can see the changes as I was outlined in the video yesterday. Now the AZ-203 exam, which it replaces, is still valid until August 31st. So we're in this situation now, middle of May, June, July, and August. We have three months where you can take either the AZ-203 or the AZ-204 exam and passing either of those will get you the developer certification. You do not need to pass both. It is one or the other. To me, there's no advantage to taking one or the other. I cannot tell you that you should take the 204 or you should take the 203 at this point. Both are live. Both give you the results instantly. Both give you the certification instantly. Both will get results in you having a, a certified developer certification that's valid for two years. And so even if the 203 exam retires on August 31st, the certification that you earned is still valid for two years. And so it doesn't affect you. Now, maybe you do want to go for the 204 exam. It does seem like there's a little bit more focus on developer topics in this exam. And so uh, maybe there's a slight edge to taking the 204 exam. The downside is we still don't have all of the learning materials lined up for 204 that we had for 203. So that's certainly uh, going to be up to you. I haven't updated my course yet, but I'm uh, believe me, I'm starting that right now. The other question we get are some of the dependencies for this. So if you do get your uh, developer certification, you can then go on to get your, like the AZ-400 DevOps certification. And people are asking, well, if you go to the DevOps page, it says that the prerequisite is the developer certification. It does not say which exam. So you can take the 203 or the 204, then you take the 400 to get certified as a DevOps. It's not dependent on the exam, just like the 103 and 104. So hopefully that's all the questions that you would have. Um, I'll keep you guys posted as I ch update my course for this. Great to see Microsoft, um, even with this situation that we're in, pushing stuff live, we're ready to go. If you want to take the 204 exam, you can book it, you can take it and get the results instantly. If you took it in beta, the 204 exam in beta, you will get the results within two weeks. Typically, it does take the better part of two weeks uh, before we start seeing those results. So anyone who took the exam from February, this went beta into February 24th until today, then you're going to then get your results by the end of May, which is good news. I wish everybody the best of luck. If you do take the 204 exam, I would love to hear about it. Please sign up for the Microsoft Azure user group in Facebook. I'll put the link in the description where we've got over 30, uh, 33,000 members in this group talking about certifications, talking about Azure, and we welcome you there. Um, so if you did take the exam and you need somewhere to talk about, I mean, you can't give away the questions, but if you want to talk about taking it and passing it and celebrate together, feel free to come and join this group and then we will welcome you here. Anyways, this is Scott, another daily update. I hope you're enjoying Microsoft Build. I'm in the middle of watching it myself and uh, we'll talk to you soon.